Sips, fangs, or mustache. Ah! Ghostbuster! Each sold separately. Break out the new equipment! Ghost trap set. Hey, so I just finished watching Ghostbusters Frozen Empire, and I'll give you my thoughts right here in this video to give you a simple rundown of the plot. The Spangle family returns to where it all started, the iconic New York firehouse to team up with the original Ghostbusters who've, de who've developed a top secret research lab to take busting ghosts to the next level, but when the discovery of an ancient artifact unleashes an evil force, Ghostbusters, new and old, must join forces to protect their home and save the world from a second ice age. So that was a quick rundown of what happened in the movie. Let me talk about the characters. I think McKenna Grace does a good job as Phoebe Spangler as Aegon's daughter. She really captures the the nerdiness of her fam of her side of the family. I think she looks a lot like Egon too. I can totally believe her being his granddaughter. And picking up after the events of Afterlife, the Ghostbusters, the Spangler family now lives in a firehouse where the Ghostbusters had their business. And this this is set two years after the original, not the original, after the event of the last movie. So. With the story, I thought the story was fine. They did a, I think they did a good job expanding the lore and the the history of the Ghostbusters. I really liked the beginning scene where the where the movie takes place in 1902. It's something we've never it's not it's something we've never seen before in Ghostbusters. So seeing a scene like that that took place in, in the past that was cool. Now this movie is directed by Joe Cannon. Who also directed the cult classic Monster Monster House? As the, while the last movie was directed by the son of the son of I, Ivan Reitman, who directed the original Ghostbusters. I think his son's name is Jason Wright, Jason Reitman. Correct me if I'm wrong. But but I like the story. I think it took a couple risks with the with the arc that Phoebe Spangler takes and uh, how many characters it has with the expansion of the lore they they took a they took a a risky route by introducing an original villain but i actually really like him i thought the original was really i thought the villain was really cool i'm glad for the ghosts they still used some practical effects mixed with cgi i thought it was really i thought it's not the most amazing movie ever if you were expecting Something like the original, you're not gonna get that. But I feel like that's what it was expected. For some for some reason, this movie wasn't really marketed, and I don't know why. I barely saw any BuzzFeed about it online. But it's not really that bad of a movie. Yes, it's it's not. I'm I'm not gonna call it mid. It wasn't mid. It was good. It it was incredi incredibly good, incredibly okay. Let's just say that. I like the inclusion of the original Ghostbusters. I think in the last movie they were only on screen for like I maybe four minutes tops. In this movie, they get at least ten minutes tops. So it's not a lot of time, but double the time is okay if that's all we can get. If that's all we can get or afford. Um I like the inclusion of the other characters. I think Kumal Nanjianji was alright, Pan Oswald was alright. I like the scenes with podcast and Dan Aykroyd making their podcast, not podcast, but their, their videos of ghosts, artifacts with the hammer smashing for the views. I thought that was funny. I thought the final battle was a little disappointing. I will say that I was expecting expecting a lot more because we only really get a bat. We only really get like a ten minute like final showdown. But it is what it is. I think the special effects look really cool. Like I said, for the ghost, they had a mix of CGI and practical effects, which was really, which is really welcoming. And uh, I like the new suits for the movies, the red ones. Those were really cool for the original Ghostbusters. 
I would still recommend watching this in theaters because because we guys show we guys show Sony that we do like these movies. Please please give me Ghostbusters six. I really want to see how it ends or if they want to make more. That's fine. I I welcome more Ghostbusters. I really like the idea and the premise of Ghostbusters Ghostbusters in general. I do wish that we had a lot more scenes at night and more haunting, scary scenes. Like in the original movie, for example, when when Dana Barrett gets captured and turned into a dog by Gozer. And when she gets sucked in sucked in into the apartment door. I thought that was really cool. But I wish we had more scenes like that in the new movies. I'm not really sure about all the scenes of catching ghosts and dur during the t daytime. But like I said, if they if they were to bring some more scariness back to the franchise, that would be really good. That they're trying to make that they're trying to make an animated Ghostbusters movies. Hopefully, this hopefully the same people that made Spider Verse. But whatever it comes down to be, and I'm also hoping for that movie to be good. Maybe that scene, maybe that movie can bring back the Ghostbusters audience because I really. Like I said, I, I didn't hear a lot of buzz over this movie, but anyways, those those were my brief thoughts. And I give I for my rating of the movie, I give it three out of five stars. And yeah, tell me what you guys think of the movie in the comments, and I will catch you all next time with my next review. Thank you.